Hey guys, welcome back to some more Vine and Why. So I am doing some homework. I I gotta read this uh, short story. It's like eight pages boringness. So I read it, then freaking uh, answer these questions in in class. I gotta give stand up in front of the class, give a summary, answer the questions. <sighs> but that shit was getting dry as hell. So I need to play some Yu-Gi-Oh. I need to play. I need to have some fun. Drew you Bell again. All right. Well, at least I got my 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 Lord and Savior. <laughs> What in Savior, Dark Grapher, I swear. Because I may keep on John Ubel, but seriously, so Ubel and Spirit Reaper are, are cards at one in this hand. Just in case you guys were uh, kind of wondering, like, what's up? Now you know. Uh, well, I got you. I'm gonna get you. You know what? Yeah, Level Eater. Level Eater will get us started. So let me go ahead and take a break from my homework, play some Yu Gi Mons, going against a 60 card deck here. Like, hello. <laughs> so, let's see how that turns out. Of course, you guys know, Yuboxy is probably one of the slower decks. Uh, really? I don't want to duel against Neff Clops. Everybody and their mother is fucking using Neff Clops. I don't want to duel against that deck. It's getting really annoying. Everybody and their mother jumping on the new deck. Hop, jumping on that deck. Hard. It's like, oh, new deck. Gotta play it. Oh, oh, gotta play it. Like... What happened to just playing decks you want to, you know, just chilling with it? Why does everybody got to freaking, like, just do the broke shit? <laughs> because fucking Yu-Gi-Oh's a game full of followers and net deckers. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm competitive because I play the top deck. Well, so does everybody else and their mother. All right, well. All right, so this time it was Terror, Foolish, and Debris this time, so. And, of course, we got to say we so, of course, we got a uh, Dark Greffer, Lord and Savior, again. Okay, if I didn't get Dark Greffer, this hand would just be... <sighs> it wouldn't be terrible. It's just getting real sick and tired of drawing every single duel, drawing you bell or a form of you bell Like, why? <sighs> I guess I should fool this as well. Just deck thin. Uh, la, 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 la. Drop that level eater. There we go. Now, you both see take some set up, but this deck's not terrible. I wish I would have got a little bit of revival with it. We're on an ass ton of revival in this deck, and didn't get none of that. Uh, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, about people just, you know, just following the trends. Like, hey. Like, you know what? I didn't like Trish when he was a Synchro Monster. I don't like Trish when he's a Ritual Monster. So, yeah, because he just fucks me up, like... Completely fucks me up. So everybody can still run around with fucking Neff Clops going fucking ahead because I have Evil Swarm. So you can suck my dick. <laughs> well, some of yours aren't higher than level 5. Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate fucking Glad B so much. Like, why do I keep facing decks that I hate? Yeah, I know. Well, I'm gonna lose. I always lose the Glad Beast. I, I, I don't think I've ever beat a Glad Beast play. I don't think I've ever beat them. They always fuck me up. Always. You're not even gonna tag out? Hello? Always fuck me up. He's about to get that fucking War Chariot on my ass. I'm gonna get it tonight. I'm gonna summon this thing. He's gonna be like War Chariot. But uh huh. I know you have it. Play it. Play it. I know you have War Chariot. Yep. Whenever I duel against a Glad Beast player, they always do. War Chariot me. I think it's like, it's like, like, they have like 10 monsters and then like 30, 30 War Chariots in the deck. Sure seems like it. You know how I always draw you bell? Whenever I go against a Glad Beast player, they always draw War Chariot. Always. It's just like, oh my god, hello. I'm not even searching for it. You're just drawing it. And it's funny, it's taking fucking forever to fucking reply to my plays. Go ahead and summon level eater for a little bit more defense, I guess. It's in my hand is booty. I got no revival. No revival. Alright, he's kind of one of those players that doesn't respond when I say K or effect or stop sign. I just play until he responds. 
The only problem I don't like with that is that I hate going to like a play and then wait a while and then I do something and they're like, oh wait, hey, take that back. Like, like hello? So you're gonna wait, 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 wait. You play tanky. Uh, you play tanky. Don't search. Book a moon. Target what? Sure. That's fine. Oh, now your bell can't be destroyed because effects aren't negated. Now since I'm flipped down, so I'm gonna flip back up. My effect won't be negated anymore. So, oh well. Okay, you book a moon me, I'm down, now what? Yeah. That was stupid. I'll take that time. My effects were negated by the bridge dragon, but when you flip me down and then flip me back up, I got my effect back, which kind of sucks because I don't want you to have its effect back at all. But and the snuggles are real. Oh, well, at least I got level eaters to eat. At least I got level eater to eat for a little while, so it's it's fine, I guess. So. Oh wait, I take an extra hundred, cause he tapped, I take an extra hundred, I forgot about the tanky. Sure, I don't care. Go. I should've turned U-Belt to attack mode. Why didn't I do that? If I would turn to you about to attack mode, then he would have took the damage before he tagged out. Not that this for some odd, for some odd reason this guy's not tagging out, but he would have took the damage. Ah, uh, next the memo to myself is Yubel is still in the field. Turn it to attack mode. Memo to myself. So you're probably just gonna set up another mirror force and path. I'm gonna turn you about to attack mode, so I'm gonna be a night drop a dart. Uh and then I'm gonna try to attack you. Want some mirror force me? Great, that's awesome. Then I you know, I'll go ahead and summon Terror. Is Warrior Chariot just on the field, or is it just when an effect is activated? I can't remember. I don't know. All I know is like this. This is like the world's world's worst glad beast player. Like he hasn't tagged at all. Just completely just ass. How many different uh, levels do we have in there? Uh, we need one more different level. So I guess I'll go ahead and set credits. So I'll go ahead and get a level eater effect on. And I also return back to my original level of 10, because he fucking book a moon me as well, so. Okay, when effect monsters activate, you can, uh, rebel. Effect was not activated. That was level eater. You you keep your card. It does not resolve. At the time, unless you want to negate level eater, but that would be that would be stupid because I would just go activate level eater effect and he go war chariot, so it would negate me. And I could just go level eater again. You know what? I'm just gonna say that you get you negated level eater, which is fine. So, cause I gotta work that. I gotta work that. I 
Okay. You want to tag? I'll say, now do you want to tag? Wasn't... This one hasn't tagged all fucking duel. Like, hello? Actually, you know what? It's not Armageddon Knight. So I'm taking you damage. So you can go ahead and run over the level leader. I don't care. It'd be funny if level eater eats all the bell all the way down to level four. And then I can summon Mass Chameleon. That'd be hilarious. That would just be hilarious. Mm-hmm. Okay. You should probably read my card before you go ahead and do plays like that. <laughs> that was just kind of dumb. You're just like, oh, I'm going to get that damage, and even though it can't be sure, no, 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 no. You take the damage. Don't fuck with me. Where it says LP, you just type in 19. Yeah, I'm gonna punish the shit out of you because you shouldn't have done it. You can tag if you want to. You can tag if you want to. I don't really don't give a shit. Actually, I actually have an interesting play that I could do right now, but I'm not sure that I want to do it. I can go, I can go wizard. Tribute, get Gallus the Queen's Light, level Eater Eden, now level up, which means I'll drop down to 8 Gallus the Queen's Light, because they both become 8 McFell Grand. Ah. Y'all seem to find me. Yep, same sign to me. I'm going against the world's worst Glad Beast player right now, so. No, it really wasn't doing much anyway. So, just go ahead and fell ground. Uh, da 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 Oh, you're gonna bottomless on summon? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go effect, detach, on self. So I'm unaffected by your bottomless. So yeah, attacking that retarded. I mean retari, retardy, Atari. Go ahead. Should've known as a bad guy when he had no extra deck. Like, how do you... <sighs> Your best fucking play is to go into fucking Geysaris, but you have no Geysaris. Like, that makes sense. That fucking makes sense. What the fuck can you possibly do to me right now? Like, you're just gonna get the fucking, just the, the, the D. Because you're so bad. 
We punish bad players. That's what, that's what we do here on Vitamin Wine. No, we don't. <laughs> and my deck's not the most meta deck in the world either. Sure. What? You don't want bear? What? You got a problem with bear? Not like you can do shit. I got Felgrand, but. Okay. Oh, because he did Proving Ground. Like, wait a minute. I thought I was looking at Tanky. No, like, Proving Ground. That's fine. I still don't understand what's so scary about your plays right now. You got a fucking Felgrand on this bitch. My command doesn't hit the field, too. What? What? What do you mean, fire formation tanky effect? Fire formation tanky effect is already in effect. When it is activated, you didn't search when you activated it. When this card is activated, you can add one level 4 lower beast warrior type monster from the deck to your hand. You just activated it, and then it didn't resolve it. You can. It's not mandatory. If it was mandatory, I would have told you to get it, but you decided to not to. And, you know, I totally don't mind when you activate Tinky and not search for anything because you're bad, so... You want that 100 attack boost so badly, then sure, go ahead and get it. I don't care. Alright, that's Darius. Unless it's something else and Darius is in his hand. Really, I don't give a shit, so... Go ahead and end your turn. Alright, I know exactly what I'm going to do next turn. Exactly what I'm going to do next turn. Give me that. Alright. Where are you? There you are. You're new. Oh, wait, you two. You two cross King of Fire Imp. So of course, we'll get his effect. And get me a Mass Chameleon. Again, so. I pretty much get a 23 beater, which is totally what I could go for in this point in the duel. So, attack. Ah. Wait, does he have that fucking... Okay, I'm thinking that he might have that one uh, juicy booty guy. But that that was a different duel. I'm mistaken. All I'm all my duels. Like, the juicy booty guy, the, the the what is that guy? Hippo or something? I don't know. <sighs> okay, well, then I guess that is the game because that's what 48 right there. No, 51. But I'll go ahead and grab me another Mask Chameleon, because why the fuck not? All my revival's pooling. Look at that. My three limit reverses. This, 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 this. All of the, all of my revival is just pulling up in this duel. Just pulling. Just chilling. We're, we're at the bottom of the deck. You want, oh, you want us? No. We're at the bottom. Yeah. You gotta rely on that little Call of the Haunted you got there. That's all you get. That's all you get. One Call of the Haunted for the entire fucking duel. That's pretty sad. And I said, this was actually a, a good Glad Beast player. I, I would have lost. I would have definitely lost. He would have fucked me up. But because he was just terrible. No extra deck for Gaizaris. No tagging at all. Didn't even fucking tag at all. Like, hello? What was that tag, though? Where my tag at? Okay, it's pretty clear you're not going to make a beat. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call him So, yay. Glad. Bad glad. I'm not even going to call him a glad beast. I'm going to call him a bad beast player. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And 
you know, my, my shit wasn't working that hard. Like I said, if he was a good grab I would have definitely, most definitely lost. You know, especially with all my revival pulling out the bottom like that. Like, hello? Where's my revival? But, uh, thank God he was bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call him some. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow with Cosmic Ebell. Thanks for watching.